What's up, boyers? Welcome back to Candlelight Lament. And here I am with my damaged car. Did I have a dream while driving? How absurd. Hope I didn't hit anyone on the road. So I have two insight. Oh. Uh. You think you hear some noises? Seems like something is lurking in the shadows, watching you intently. Please, no. What's this? Four. Forest? Okay. Is there anything on this side? Is there anything in the trunk? No. Okay. Damaged f Oh, wood stick. A wooden stick is tightly woven into the fence. Sturdy enough to be a weapon, but cannot be taken down directly. Well, I crashed into it. Didn't that lo uh, unlodge it? The structure of this fence is very detailed, made of hard materials, woven with thin ropes into wooden sticks and boards. Luckily, this fence is sturdy enough, otherwise there would be big trouble. Uh, stick. Okay. I'll. Okay, so this is the town. Oh. Uh, the rain damages your hair, mingling with blood and soaking into your clothes. The village feels uncomfortable, like even the air here is different. Okay. That's a always a good sign. Wat water wheel. Oh. Could I go this way before and I just didn't? Maybe. Maybe. Well, let's check this out really quick then. Water wheel. <laughs> water wheel. Alright. Pl plastic products. Some disgusting plastic wrappers. Okay. Uh, oh. There are no missing person notices on the walls here. It's completely different from the city. Thinking about not having your badge makes your breathing tense. Try to pull yourself together. You need to get to Ed's house to find everything about Anna. Up. Oh. You walking towards me? I want no trouble. I want no trouble. No trouble. Excuse me. Oh no, this guy. This guy feels <laughs> off. Don't move. Don't move. Wait. You won't get far. Who oh, said that? You realize your revolver is missing. Wait, I didn't get to check out the forest! Why, well, he left my clothes on. Cabinet? A cabinet full of potions and medical supplies. Not very sharp glass, barely able to cut through some things. Medical scissors? Okay. Stainless steel door. You hear some noise behind the iron door. Who's there? You can call me doctor. Oh, it's a woman's voice. What just happened? You probably climbed up the arch bridge in a state of bloody head trauma, then fainted from lack of blood to the brain. Fortunately, your poor driving skills didn't send you to your death. Someone carried you here, and you narrowly escaped death. You remember you didn't faint on the bridge, but you don't dwell on it. Well, thank you. I injected you with poison. <laughs> BT dubs. Stuck you with poison. Wait, what did you say? I need you to do something for me, and I'll give you the antidote when you're done. That's not very doctor-like of you. 
Everything has a price. That's the law. What, what do you need me to do? Go outside to that scorched ground and dig up some of the plants growing there for me. You need to find a way to deal with the horse keeper. The key is under the pillow on the hospital bed. You couldn't go out there and do it yourself. Where does Ed live? The simplest house to the north of the village. You have more pressing matters to attend to, don't you? The poison spreads quickly. Have you heard of his granddaughter, Anna? This isn't a service center, sir. I'm not obligated to answer your so many questions. You must know a lot. I need your answers. From her first word, you sensed she was different. Only those with no doubts in their hearts can possess such calmness and resolve. Tell me, what happened to Anna? Where is she now? Help me finish the job and I'll tell you how about that. I can waste time with you and you can think about how to deal with a corpse poisoned to death. <sighs> All right. Like most missing children, she might have been sent to another dimension. So I don't know her location or if she's alive or dead. What do you mean another dimension? It's literal. No one can truly understand it. That dimension is now expanding and gradually permeating this world in a hom homomorphic way. Once the permeation is complete, our sensory abilities will be limited to a certain frequency range, making that dimension an inescapable reality. Can you understand? I've explained it to you in the most physical terms possible. I think you're using some sci-fi tricks to fool me. In short, you don't know Anna's whereabouts. Whatever you say. Poison in you is taking effect. Get to work. How did I fall into this predicament? You found the key under the pillow. Oh, good. Doctor's house key. Well... Leave. Use the doctor's house key. Toxic accumulation. Okay, I'm on a time limit here. The scene feels like it's happened before. My gun. Did I lost it in the car? I'll stab you with some scissors. I'll be back. I gotta go look in the forest real quick. Oh, two. Okay, I don't... Maybe I don't have time for this. I don't even know how I drove through such a bumpy and complicated road. Where did all the public funds for road construction go over the years? Oh. Okay, so that's where I came from and I can't do anything about it now. Good. Glad I wasted all that time. Um, how do I get by you? Excuse me. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> what the? I remember I had just walked out the door and then you feel a wave of confusion. Oh, this could be bad. What do you need again? Go outside the scorched ground. Dig up some plants growing there. Need to find a way to deal with the horse keeper. Okay. So. Jeez. Alright. Small pair of scissors isn't enough to deal with that guy. Clearly not. Oh, that thing keeps going up. Well, what? What? How? What? What and how? What and how? Alright, one moment, please. There's gotta be something. Scissors? S scissors. Oh, the stick! The stick in the fence! The stick in the fence! The stick in the fence! The fence stick! Ah. Use. Yes. You cut the rope on the fence with medical scissors and retrieve a sturdy wooden stick. This is a good sword. He's trying to Gandalf me. Stick. Stick. 
Oh, come on, you. Oh, you successfully knocked out the horse keeper. Excellent. Horse keeper, what's wrong with this guy? I don't know, but let's take this. Okay. Covered plastic barrel, barrel cover covered with tarp. What's inside? A stench hits you in the face. Horse manure. Shovel it. I don't think it works this way. Excuse me. Useless. All right. Scorch. Disgusting surface. Its surface feels waxy, emitting a foul odor. Shovel it. Weird plants. Is this the plant the doctor mentioned? I don't know, but I got it now. All right. Hello, horse. Horse. Can I go this way now? I can. Toxic search. Oh, but I should not. <gasps> no! Okay, the poison is still in me. I can't run too far. I don't have the... Oh, okay. Shovel. Got it. Okay. I have your plants, doctor. Is this what you wanted? Seems you're not as dumb as I thought. Give it to me. The antidote? Stick your neck out. <coughs> Doctor's technique is very skillful. skillful. You hardly feel the needle going in and out of your skin. I've been detoxified. Oh, thank goodness. Get lost. Wait, I still have questions for you. The village chief's house is to the east. Go find him if you need anything. Leave here before sunset. That's my final advice. Goodbye. Well then. Knock. Knock. Knock again. Keep knocking. Knock forever. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I'll allow you to ask three questions. Oh, snap. Ten. Five. Deal. Oh, persistent inquirer. <laughs> From now on, you'll have to remember my answers on your own. I won't repeat them. Oh, pay attention. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> everything. Start in first grade. What do you actually know? You have four questions left. You didn't answer me anything. Never said I was obliged to answer, especially not such a foolish, foolish question when you don't even know what you're asking. <sighs> Village. Let's see. We don't need to learn about... Well, burnt ground. The savior. The horse keeper. The savior? About the savior. Oh, Ugh. who carried me here? I don't know. She obviously knows you've already caught the slight change in her tone in that moment. You have three questions left. Can you be reasonable? No, that's another question. Did you drag your purpose? Do you have a gun? Um... Village is past. Have there been any strange events in the village in recent months, especially the day Anna disappeared? Sounds like a typical police question. You have two questions left. Unhelpful wench! <sighs> Do you have a gun? Stupid question. You have one question left. I know you do. Hand it over. I'm afraid you don't have the authority. During special times, the police have the right to confiscate firearms. Members of the Lightstone Association have the right to carry guns. Lightstone Association. Lightstone Association. 
if you keep pressing this issue, I'm leaving. Oh, what's the right question question to ask? Horsekeeper, burnt ground. Or what did you inject me with? What's your purpose? I don't know if any of these would be the right thing to ask. About the burnt ground. What's with that scorched ground? And what's the plant you had me dig up? The patch of ground and those plants are a new form of life. You suddenly realize she isn't a regular resident here, but came specifically to study this substance. What's worth studying about it? I think you're a practical person, so I'll give you a practical answer. The molecular structure of matter can be reshaped by information. And this information comes from an intent, which you can think of as a thought process. Thanks to the limited strength of this intent, intent, the village didn't turn into a wax museum overnight. The intent that caused the transformation is still hidden near the village, normally unobservable but with immense energy. Is this some alchemist novel? I don't think you're answering my question. Because you're just a vulgar person. Let me put it this way, the villagers always bury something or burn something there. With your level of thinking, just consider it a bonfire site. You can't ask anymore. Conversation ends. Goodbye. Wait. The sound has moved away from the iron door. Doctor. There's no sound. All right, I hear dog outside the doctor said ed's house is to the north the village chief's house is to the east huh is there anything down forest oh bird nest bird's nest stick oh really Oh, earring. Wonderful. I don't know. Let's go back over here. I... It sounds like the lady with the dog is back. So I might not be able... To go this way? Go east. So which way is... N this way is north. Head north. Can I go in the church? Church graveyard? Oh. Oh. Nothing. There's nothing to observe here. Nothing to see. Nothing to do. Nothing to dig up. Oh, enter church. There we go. No need to go in. Alright, well, I've no need. There's no need for any of this. North to who's and what? East to the chief. Uh, well, oh, man, the forest, though. The forest! Let's do the rest of the forest. I pick neither. Neither one. Piercing scream? What is that sound? Well, it's a piercing scream, of course. Tree hole. You can hear slight noises inside. Hiss. What's inside? Pro probably a creature. Squirrel noises. You seem to understand what it's saying. Help me kill a human! <laughs> what? Kill a human! Squirrel god friendship! Who do you want to kill? Why is that the question you're asking? Human! Kill a human! Squirrel god friendship! Poke. Useless. Um. You've heard a mi you've heard of a mimicking rodent. Seems like this little guy is one. Good. Glad I did that.
glad I did that wax block piece of wax. I have this now. Found in the forest. Okay. Tree stump. There are bullet holes in the trees. Many broken bottles are scattered around. No shell casings left. What's going on? Deep in the forest. No need to go that far for now. Okay. Something happened here. I don't know what. But. Let's go. North. Was North Ed's house? North. Oh. Door. Well. A well covered with a pile of straw. You moved the straw aside. Oh! Ladder! No, let's wait a sec- Oh! Lucia! Lucia! Hey, yo! Hey, don't look so downcast. Having trouble? You're wary of anyone who is too friendly. The woman exudes an air of knowing you well. You've been watching me for a while, haven't you? You only have yourself to blame for being too conspicuous. I bet the whole village is watching you. Do you know Ed? I consider him a friend, but I don't plan to help you sneak into his house. Question purpose. What brings you here? I'm a local, just strolling around, nothing unusual. I know you're following me. Wait, you must be a police officer, right? You don't seem very friendly, officer. If you help me sneak into Ed's house, I might give you a smile. We get along well enough. As long as you don't go too far, I can assist you. May I know your name? I'm Lucia. Beck. Need tools. I need a long and sturdy rope, as well as a hook. Long enough to... If there's nothing available, you have to find a way to make it yourself. Okay, I'll be back to question you more later. Family! Couple. Hello. Good afternoon. You're not from here, are you? Um. Well, I'm not a cop anymore, technically. Visiting a friend? This is also not technically true. Um, I'm, I'm a cop. I'm a police officer. Ha! From the corruption division or the bribery division. Tame City really benefits from your care. <coughs> hey, eh! The little girl made a strange sound looking at you excitedly. Who are you here to see, officer? Um, I'm here to see Ed. I'm looking for Ed. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. How may I address you, ma'am? I'm Elma. This is my husband, Anderson. She's Heidi. What do you know about Ed? Uh, everyone knows his scandal's not worth discussing. What scandal? You pretending, or do you really not know? He, mol he molested female students while teaching at the university. Didn't your police department investigate? You've looked into Ed's case. Truth isn't what they say. The truth is, Ed rejected several students' plagiarized theses, which led to collective retaliation from the students. Ed fell victim to the corruption in academia and the justice system, but you don't waste time arguing with biased people. Do you have contact with Ed regularly? Can we end this disgusting topic? I refuse to answer more. Gah, ah. What's wrong with her? She has a congenital intellectual disability and often does strange things. Don't mind her. Ha! Ah! ah. 
girl seems to be protesting. Her actions remind you of Ed, as if she has something to tell you. Excuse me. Huh. So... What is... Sus what they think Ed did... It's not what he actually did, if the police reports are correct. Lucia! Ed's scandal. We heard about Ed's scandal. I've heard a bit, didn't pay much attention. Everyone around cares a lot about this scandal. How did you become friends with him? I see things with my own eyes, officer. There's a scorched ground in front of the church. What's that? I never paid attention to that. That's your job, officer. Okay. What do you know about Anna? Ed's granddaughter. Very smart. A genius who could discuss complex subjects with Professor Ed at such a young age. September 20th is the day she disappeared. What were you doing that night? Do you remember? Hmm. I was watching TV. I usually do that late at night. Oh, no, wait. If I remember correctly, there was a power outage that night. What were you doing during the power outage? Let me think. I might have gone to sleep then. Are you sure? Ha! Look at your tone. Are you sure? How about you? Do you remember what you did that day? Ha! <laughs> See? Who would remember exactly what happened more than a month ago? I bet you don't keep a diary. My daily work is meticulously recorded. Alright, you win, meticulous and boring officer. I need tool, to tools. Sturdy rope as well as a hook. Nothing available. Okay. Uh, is the rope to get down into the well? Investigate house. Ed's house. The door is chained. Girl on the back of his house. Okay, that might be over the fence there. So maybe I can get down? The ladder is right below, but there's no rope on the pulley, nor, nor, nor any other tools. Alright. Don't you mind me, I'm doing some investigating. Window. The window is boarded up with a rough layer of white paint nearby. Need to find a way to climb up there. Wire hanger. Clothesline with some hangers and a piece of white painted stained cloth. Pa paint stained. Okay, hanger. Soft water hose. An almost 8 meter long hose. I can use this. Alright. So I don't think I use this for here. I don't think it works that way. Yeah, I think this is for... The well. Alright, I found stuff. A hose in is installed at the wellhead. And this? I don't think it works that way. Alright, well is that all I need though? Oh, I can't reach it. Didn't the person who threw the ladder here think about taking it back? Stick? It would be great if the stick had a hook on the end. Come by and- Oh! Grab it. You successfully retrieved the ladder. Well done, officer. I believe there's nothing you can't handle. Hey, why don't you ever smile? Didn't they teach you this at the police academy? <gasps> How do I get rid of those wooden boards? Huh. So I'm not going down in the well. That's kind of nice. Earring. Are you sure about this? Well, now I'm not. 
of... Is this me, like, insinuating that it's hers and she has done something? Hold on. No, no, no. Let's go up here. The window is sealed. Need tools to pry open the window boards. Wax! I don't think it works this way. Okay. Okay, so... Earring. Insights. I found an earring. You like picking up treasures from the ground too, officer. Didn't expect that. Take out the earring and notice her expression changes. Where did you find it? Oh no, this evokes bad thoughts in me. What is it? Harrison's- I mean, it's his. You don't know Harrison, never mind. Bye. <laughs> okay, um, come back. Where did she go? Oh, they're gone. But what is this? Cards. Two mice. Seven of clubs. Twenty-three. Wax! Insight. No. Alright. Did she go down the well? I hope she did not. The ladder has been taken out. Okay. What about over here? Alright, maybe she went in the house then. This is Ed's house. The door is chained. Go around the back of his house. Okay, well... Uh-huh. So maybe I have to... Invalid. Okay, so I, let's go back to town and see if there is something to the east. Or maybe more in the forest. Should I check out the forest first? Still, is the horse guy still there? He is. Maybe I can't go any farther. Oh, I can. Deep in the forest. Connard! There you are, buddy. My old pal, cart. A heavy cart with unresponsive wheels. Nothing useful inside. Boat engine? And a outboard motor under repair. Sir, excuse me. It took him a while to locate the direction of the voice. Then he turned his rusty neck with difficulty, finally focusing on the spot where you stood, seeing multiple overlapping figures. Who's there? Dang it. The moment the man took off his hat, you immediately understand what's going on. That day's state is completely different from just waking up. Criminal Investigation Bureau. Dang it. A cop. Actually, coming to this kind of place? What's that in your left hand? I'm just scratching my butt. What's it to you? What are you doing here? Frick. It was a beautiful dream. Then you... I need to investigate inside. Suit yourself, pig. How rude! How rude! Toolbox! Locked. Darn. Locked. I'm investigating inside. Investigate. The room is filled with the smell of seawater. What the heck is this cabin used for? Let me out, quick! Let me out! Who's there? You never expected this crude place to have a basement. I've quit, really. I can't take it anymore. <gasps> you stabbed me. You're convinced your lung was pierced by a screwdriver, but now you wake up perfectly fine. 
as if nothing happened. You begin to realize there are some incomprehensible aspects to time and space. I don't understand how to explain all this. You gradually lose the distinction between dreams and reality. Oh no. Oh no. So. How do I get past that guy? Where did Lucia go? What's up with that family? What is going on here with time and space? Many, many questions and many more to be discovered. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.